Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. Today I'm going to be doing some things in the kitchen again to get ready for the work week. In here I have a head of chopped lettuce in cold water. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of vinegar. I'm going to let this soak for two minutes. Well, that's soaking. Got a little bit of cucumber left here. I'm going to peel and chop up. I'm going to make us a bowl of a big toss salad. salad. So we won't have cucumber in there, but we will have onion. All right, this has been soaking for two minutes now, so I'm going to rinse it off and do the bell peppers. All right, that's been rinsed off really good. I'm gonna spit it dry. Key to keeping lettuce good is dry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some lettuce in this bowl. need to keep some out for our quesadilla night. So we'll put the rest in this glass container lined with a paper towel. Now I'm going to soak the bell peppers in cold water with a quarter cup of vinegar. These we're going to have to rotate. Okay, now for our salad. Add some diced onion. We'll just put the rest of that in there. some green pepper and then I'll put some colored pepper in there too shredded cheese Okay, two minutes are up for these. And I'm gonna add some colored peppers to it also.
And a little bit of red. Okay. Now we'll have a nice dinner salad to eat with our dinner during the week. I'm just going to get the rest of this all chopped up and put into a freezer bag, so I will bring you back. Okay, friends, I sliced up the bodies of the bell pepper. I'm going to freeze those like that, and then the tops and bottoms I chopped because I am going to make potatoes O'Brien. So, I'm going to get this pot of water to a boil. I'm going to peel, I got nine small to medium-ish size potatoes. I'm going to peel these and then cube them up and then I'll bring you back. Okay friends, my water has come to a boil. I have diced up those potatoes just into nice little small cubes. Now I'm going to parboil them for two minutes. So once this comes back up to temp, up to boiling, that's when you start finding it. And potatoes O'Brien can be used for so many different things. Soups, casseroles, all kinds of stuff. Omelets. So I'm going to parboil this for two minutes. The onions and bell pepper do not have to be parboiled. Just the potatoes. onion here and my bell pepper. I don't know how much of these I'm going to need. They're not boiling yet so I can't start timing it. I'm going to set my timer for two minutes. Then when that goes off, I'm gonna scoop them out and put them in this ice water bath to stop the cooking process. I'm gonna turn it off because we only got 40 more seconds. That'll keep boiling for that length of time. Now these will be partially cooked when I go to use them. So that'll make the cooking process quicker. All right, I'm going to start scooping them out and putting them in this ice bath.
I found this big scoop at uh, Dollar Tree. Comes in handy for stuff like this. All right, I'm just gonna let them sit here in this ice water bath until they get cooled down completely. And then I'm going to lay them out on this clean towel so they can dry good. So I will bring you back when we mix it all up. Okay, our potatoes have dried out pretty much as good as I am willing to wait. Now I'm going to add these chopped onions. And we'll see how much of these peppers I'm gonna need. I want all three colors in there. I'm gonna put some green pepper in there too. stir this up all right this is going to be awesome having this in the freezer freeze the rest of those colored peppers and probably the, well i'm making chili tomorrow so maybe i'll use it for that then i'm going to use quart size much of a mess I can make. I'm going to put enough in here that I think we'll need at a time. All right. Now we will have three quart size bags of potatoes O'Brien down in the freezer for when we need it. All right, I'll bring you back for the next thing. Okay, now I am going to make my homemade applesauce. In here I have about three pounds of apples that I peeled, cored, and diced up. Now I need one cup of water. Three tablespoons of sugar. And two teaspoons of lemon juice. And cinnamon. I'm going to turn that, or yeah, cinnamon. I'm going to turn the heat on high. I'm just going to put about a teaspoon in there. Put the heat on high, let it come to a boil, and then I'm going to turn it down and cover it and let it cook until these apples are fork tender. I will bring you back at that point. Okay, these have been simmering for 25 minutes. See if they are tender. Oh yes. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna take my immersion blender after it and get this all nice and smooth. 
Okay, that looks pretty smooth. Give this a little taste and see what it's like. Yummy. All right, I'm gonna let this cool down and then I'll put it into a jar. All right. I always like to have whatever meat that we're going to need during the week. If I can have it cooked up ahead of time, I like to do that on the weekends. So right now, I'm going to brown up this brown this pound of hamburger because we're going to be having quesadillas this upcoming week. So having this hamburger cooked will be half the battle. And I need to make my taco seasoning again because I'm out. So I need four tablespoons of chili powder. Spoons of cornstarch. I have to wipe this off. Just start it out with the cornstarch. Okay, two tablespoons. Tablespoons of ground cumin. Two tablespoons of smoked paprika. One tablespoon of kosher salt. I have never in my life bought kosher salt. So I'm just going to use salt. Two teaspoons of garlic powder. of onion powder. Two teaspoons of oregano. One teaspoon of pepper. And a half a teaspoon, whoops, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper.
go a little heavy on that. That's all there is to homemade taco seasoning. And when I need to use this, I'll use three tablespoons if I need a packet of taco mix. Be three tablespoons of this. So I'll be using that here in a little bit. Okay, the burger is cooked. I'm going to remove the grease using the paper towel trick. Quite a bit of grease in here, so I might have to use two, two more. We'll see. I'm not going to worry about all of it. Don't want a big pool of it in here. Turn this down. Alright, I'm going to add three tablespoons. This taco mix a little bit of water. That was a quarter cup. I'm going to add another quarter. I'm just going to let this sit here and simmer. And then I'll bring you back when everything has cooled down. The applesauce is just about there. All right, our applesauce and taco meat are cooled down enough where I can put them in jars. This applesauce is so good. All right. There's the applesauce. Gave me a quart. Taco meat, I'll put in this glass bowl. Let it finish cooling down. Before I put it in the fridge. Okay. I would like to thank you for spending this time in the kitchen with me. If you like kitchen video content like this, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.